Born in Rampur, India in 1943, Dr. Muzammil Siddiqui was profoundly shaped by his parents, Maulana Tawassul Hussain Siddiqui and Mahrara Siddiqui, who instilled in him a deep commitment to Islamic values in education. At 17, he moved to Lucknow to attend Darul Uloom Nadwatul Ulama, where he was directly admitted into the fifth year of Alim program. He then joined the University of Medina's first international student cohort, graduating with a higher degree in Arabic and Islamic studies. He earned a master's degree in theology from Birmingham University in England and a PhD in comparative religion from Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Dr. Siddiqui's dedication to both his faith and scholarly work defines his remarkable journey. Dr. Siddiqui has had a distinguished career with Islamic organizations worldwide, including significant roles with the Muslim World League and the Islamic Center in Washington, D.C. He chaired the Religious Affairs Committee for the Muslim Students Association and helped transform it into the Islamic Society of North America, ISNA, serving as president from 1996 to 2000. For 20 years, he has chaired the Fiqh Council of North America, addressed critical issues, and shaped the landscape for Muslims in North America. Additionally, he holds esteemed international positions on the boards of the International Assembly of the Council of Ulama, the Supreme Council of Mosques in Mecca, and the Supreme Islamic Council of Egypt. An advocate for interfaith dialogue, Dr. Siddiqui served as president of the Academy of Judaic Christian and Islamic Studies at UCLA for several years. His dedication to fostering understanding among different religions was recognized when President George W. Bush invited him to lead interfaith prayers at the National Cathedral after September 11 and again at Ground Zero in 2006. We turn to you, our Lord, at this time of pain and grief in our nation. We see the evil of destruction and the suffering of the many of our people before our eyes. With broken and humble hearts and with tears in our eyes, we turn to you, our Lord, to give us comfort. Help us in our distress. His participation in major interfaith events, including the World Council of Churches, the Vatican, and the World Parliament of Religions, highlights his commitment to building bridges between diverse religious traditions. Dr. Siddiqui served as the religious director of the Islamic Society of Orange County, ISOC, for 43 years before transitioning to a senior advisor role in 2024. Musamil Siddiqui, born in India, is director of the Islamic Society and its school. His son, Hassan, wants to be a computer programmer and a religious scholar like his dad. For now, he's trying to be both a good Muslim and a down-to-earth American kid. When he arrived in California in 1981, Islamic centers in California were few and disconnected. His foundational work at ISOC went beyond just one center. By introducing the International Sira Conference, he united these scattered centers and boosted Muslim visibility and activity across the West Coast. His efforts led to the creation of the Shura Council of Southern California, fostering a cohesive network of Islamic institutions across the state. Under his leadership, ISOC has become a community hub for thousands of Muslims. Here, the Islamic Society of Orange County is serving the Muslims of Southern California. But we are concerned about all people, Muslims all over the world, all human beings. We want peace and justice for all people. Alongside Dr. Muzammal Siddiqui's remarkable achievements, he and his wife have always prioritized their family. Together, they place a strong emphasis on nurturing a family that upholds good values. He has been a model, role model for us, for our entire family, throughout our life. And we owe him a lot. And we sister Khalda, we owe her a lot for taking care of us and our children. May Allah bless him and give him long life to serve as a guidance for us all. Dr. Siddiqui's legacy is one of faith, dedication, and transformative leadership. <laughs>